Amazon Prime Day. Amazon Prime Day is one day a year where Amazon discounts a ton of products for Amazon Prime members. It's exclusive to Amazon Prime members. The first Amazon Prime Day was last year. It was on July 15th to celebrate their 20th birthday. And since it was so new, nobody really knew what to expect. They did a pretty good job marketing it. It was marketed as if it were some crazy Black Friday sale. Uh, but when the sale actually started, the products were pretty lackluster. They were just various odds and ends products. I don't think I even bought a single thing. Actually, no, I did get a Kindle, I think for about $30, but that was with some credit I had saved up, applied to the transaction. Anyway, uh, Amazon did continue to the sale this year. Uh, if you guys have been paying attention to tech news, they actually had the sale last week and I actually did pick up a few different tech products. I thought I'd make a video of what I purchased because I actually really love the products that I bought. Uh, one a little bit more than the others, I will say, but uh, let's start with the small product, work our way up to the big product that I really wanna share with you guys. I decided to pick up several Amazon Dash buttons. These are smart buttons that when pressed will order products for you. So if you're running out of Tide detergent, for example, you can press this button and more detergent will be shipped to you in two days or as soon as one day, depending on your shipping method. I will note, I wouldn't have picked up these buttons if it hadn't been for the fact that they were on sale for $1 each, down from $5 each, and they came with a $5 credit towards the very first order made with each button or each press. So if you use the products, Amazon is essentially giving you money. There are some cons though. I mean, you can only buy the branded product that is the button. So Tide, Puffs, whatever the hell it is, you can only buy that product unless you hack it, uh, which I'm pretty sure you can do, but I'll have to look into that later. Accidental purchases are also pretty common, whether it's just dropping the button and the button accidentally triggers when it hits the ground or a various object. That's happened to me. Uh, I've also had an instance where a friend or a guest came over and they accidentally pressed the button. That sort of thing happens too. Also, everything is sold in bulk and it's usually way more than I need. I don't need like 30 boxes of Kleenexes. Plus that can be expensive, you know, but uh, anyway, you know, I think it's fun to test these products. Uh, I'm glad I actually test out these buttons because when I first saw them online, I was kind of like shocked with like the fact that anyone would actually need one of those. But, uh, you know, I have them. They were a pretty good deal, but honestly, I can't really recommend them unless you're just super, super lazy. The next device I picked up was a LifeX A19 smart bulb with 16 million colors for about $50. I already have three of these, so I was waiting for another one to go on sale because they can be a little bit pricey, but these are cool because they don't require a hub and they work with Amazon Echo, which basically powers my home. The third tech product I picked up was an iRobot Roomba 614, the most basic variant of the new Roombas released in June. I moved earlier this year and had been borrowing my dad's vacuum to clean. Uh, Amazon was selling the Roomba for 30% off from about $400 down to $250. Uh, so I made the impulse purchase and I'm actually pretty glad I did. The vacuum is not too loud. It picks up a lot of hair and dust and debris pretty efficiently. But what impresses me the most and makes me scream, wow, I'm living in the future, is how it vacuums all around my apartment in all the rooms, and then it comes back to its dock without any setup required. It's super cool. I, I love sharing with people. I love showing them how it returns to the dock. Uh, there is a dedicated button to press for it to head back to its charging dock automatically. There is also a spot button that will clean up a small area of your floor. Maybe you spilled a bowl of Cheerios and need to pick it up. You can use the handle to pick up and drop the Roomba on the dirty area and press the spot button and it'll spin around in circles and vacuum it all up. Now the next version up is actually a Roomba that you can schedule to clean your home at a certain time. But personally, I couldn't justify paying that much for that functionality. It's not that big of a deal for me to just press the clean button twice before I go and be on my way, go run an errand or something. Just saying. So those are the three tech products I picked up. I did also pick up a $100 Coleman grill. Uh, it's a propane powered grill. I didn't have one of these and I feel like every man needs a grill. Everybody, man, woman, female, trans, I don't care who you are. I think you need a grill in the summertime. I mean, homemade food is awesome. Grills are awesome. What more do you need? It was a hundred bucks brand new. It can be folded up. Uh, you can add a burner on one side if you want. Um, all in all, it's built very well. I'm impressed with actually the shipping. The shipping was free with Prime and this thing is not light. I had to carry it up like three flights of stairs uh, and it arrived in two days, no delays or anything. Um, actually, all my products arrived in two days. So special shout out to the awesome delivery peeps out there. So my Prime Day turned out to be a little bit more expensive than had originally planned, but I am happy with what I have uh, and what I purchased except for those Amazon Dash buttons, but maybe I'll, uh, I'll find some love for them, I don't know. 
Um, but I think it's important to obviously save and be responsible with your money. But at the end of the day, you know, your money is meant to be spent and it's meant to be used for enjoyment. So yeah, with that said, if you're interested in the products mentioned, I'll leave a link in the description to go check them out. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.